rank of the matrix is the number of the pivots of the revision form of the matrix. It's the property of the matrix which helps us to understand the matrix in its spaces more deeply. So let's consider a couple of examples. So here are we given the four matrices in the revision form. So we see that here there is a pivot. There is a pivot in the pivot. So the pivot is basically the first non-zero element of the row where the, all the entries below are equal to zero. Right? So there are three pivots, so that is why the rank of the first matrix is equal to three. So on a second matrix, we can see from here that there are two pivots. So these two numbers are the pivots. They are the first non-zero entries on the row, and all the entries below those numbers are equal to the zero. So that is why the rank of the second matrix is equal to the two. There are two pivots on the row echelon form. On the third matrix, again, there are two pivots here and here. So that is why the rank is equal to the two. And on the last matrix, there is only one pivot, the first non-zero element of the row and all the entries below this are equal to the zero. So this is going to be the, the row echelon form of the matrix and the rank of this matrix is equal to the one. So you can see from these examples that the if the matrix A is given in the form of N by K, basically it has N rows and K columns and the rank, maximum rank actually, so the maximum rank of the matrix, so the rank is going to be in the range between 1 and the minimum between n a k. Basically, if your matrix is 3 by 4 and it has its maximum rank as 3 because no row can have more than 1 pivots. Right? So the rank can be equal to the 4. If your matrix is 3 by 2, then the maximum rank which you can obtain is 2. Basically, no column can have more than one pivot. And if your matrix is again 3 by 3, it is possible that you will have rank which is less than 3. Right? And if your matrix is 3 by 3, it is possible that you will have a matrix which is going to have rank 1. So let's consider an example how to obtain the rank in general case. So we are given this matrix. In order to find its rank, we need to bring this matrix to the row echelon form. So again, we choose the number, which is going to be the first non-zero element of the first row, and we're going to eliminate all the entries below this. So the algorithm works like this. So you choose the first entry and eliminate all the entries below this. It is going to be the first row multiplied to the minus one, and we have to add this to the second. The first row multiplied to the minus one, we add this to the third one. Basically, I need to eliminate this one and this one using this pivot. So if we do this, we're going to obtain one, one, two, four. If we multiply all the entries on the first row to the minus one and add this to the second, we're going to, we're going to obtain zero, one, zero, one. If we multiply this to the minus one and add this to the last one, we obtain zero, two, zero, two. So this is going to be the pivot, right? So we eliminated all the entries below this. Now we need to go to the second row, choose the first entry, which is non-zero, and we need to eliminate all the entries below this. So in order to eliminate this two, we multiply the second row to the minus two, and add this to the third one. And our matrix becomes in the form of one, one, two, four, zero, one, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. So if you would have some non-zero entries, I would go to the third row, choose that entry, and eliminate all the entries below that. But unfortunately, there is no entries below on the third row, so that is why I need to choose this pivot and this pivot, and they're going to be the pivots of this matrix. And the rank of this matrix, A, is equal to the 